What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today what I want to do is talk about how we can optimize our workflow by using aliases. Aliases are great in terms of making sure you can shorten the length of very long commands to very manageable sizes. If you like using keyboard shortcuts, consider this like keyboard shortcuts for very long commands. All right, have you seen my other videos that I did in terms of installing Git and using Git Bash on Windows and how to work with your Bash RC file? and how to work with, when you're on Mac OS, how to work with your ZSH or C file. This is going to be an extension of that. If you haven't seen those videos, definitely check them out. But what I'll do is I'll demonstrate this on Windows and I'll explain any differences that might exist if you're on Mac OS. All right, if you want to support the project and if you want to support this channel, head on over to piximweb.com and purchase a copy of DevWP. It's a WordPress theme development project I've been working on for years and I put in thousands of hours to create a very effective, efficient, and productive workflow. And you can also check out some of my previous videos that I've done in terms of WordPress and WordPress theme development. But all right, let's go to VS Code. All right, so we see I'm in my WP test folder. And what I'm gonna do here is I'll open up my terminal and I'll type out the command alias. And it's going to show you a list of all my aliases that I have in my bash RC file. Now, if you're on Mac OS and you're using MAMP, this path is going to be different. It'll be your applications. Instead of the C drive, it'll just be applications. And then instead of XAMPP, it'll be MAMP. But then the path will be the same in terms of HC docs. So I do have other projects. So you see those there. And then I have other commands here. All right, so how is this useful? Well, you see this very long command over here, right? If we're using WPCLI. And WPCLI is a great way to make sure you streamline your WordPress development. And I have a couple of videos on that, so definitely check that out. But instead of having to type out WP core check update, and WP plugin list and the dash dash update available and WP theme list and the update available. Instead of typing this all out, all I have to do is type out WP all. And then it'll run all of these commands with just five taps on the keyboard instead of having to type out all of this. And then over here, I have a remove dependencies. And this is if I want to quickly clean up a project. So what I do is instead of having to type out remove space dash RF and then the PHP CS cache and the PHP unit result cache to compose a lock, package lock, node modules and vendor folders. Instead of having to type that all out, I just type out RM DEPS and up and down this list. So basically we have alias, we have the actual alias right there, assign the value in single quotation marks. And this would be the command that's run. All right, so this is showing all the aliases that I'm using in my Windows computer. And again, there will be some differences, very minor ones when it comes to Mac OS, because when using Git Bash on Windows, it gives you a Bash environment. But on Mac OS, they're now using the Z shell. So wherever you see Bash over here, this would be replaced with ZSH. RC. And over there I have the ZSH command. So what I'll do is I'll actually bring over my OneNote where I copied all of my aliases. So you can see that as well. All right, so here we see it's very similar to what I had before. But instead of start, when you're going to open a file, you use open on Mac OS. And then you see the path right there. It's different when you're using MAMP. And obviously we're using applications instead of the C drive. And then we have the ZSHRC instead of Bash RC. But basically everything else is the same. All right, so on Mac OS, how do you edit your Z shell file, your ZSH? RC file. Well, we can go over here and you see we have this command over here. We have nano and then we have the tilde key forward slash period ZSHRC. There will be a space here between the O and the tilde key. And then when you want to apply those changes in the current terminal session, I have it set up to this SRC. And that command would typically be source space tilde key forward slash period ZSHRC. And then for this is actually alias O Z S H open and then the tilde key forward slash period Z S H R C. So what does this do? This opens it in your native application. So in my case, it'll be VS code. And this one opens up a terminal code editor. It's called nano. Then we have our composer commands, compose install, compose update, compose self update. Then our composer linting commands, because we do have a lot of linting that we're going to be working on. 
our git commands, our npm commands, npm start, install, install dash dash save, and then the save dash dev, and then npm update, npm test, and a bunch of other npm commands over here. And then our wpcli commands. All right, let's go back to VS Code on Windows. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll type out in terminal obsh, and then it opens the dot bash rc file that's in my user directory. Again, since I'm using git bash, I have this bash rc file. Close that out so you can actually see the aliases here in the editor itself. So again, take a look at this. What I'll do is I'll copy this and I'll paste it into my website where I'll explain exactly what the aliases are doing. And that way you could easily just copy and paste it from there if you don't want to type it all out. But basically, it's the same thing as what we saw in the Mac OS one. We have the alias, remove dependencies, the start to open a file. And then what these are is when you're in terminal and you want to see, get a listing of the different files and folders in your current directory, you can use these commands. And they do a little bit different things. And then the alias C is to clear the screen in terminal. Then we have our navigation, change directory to HT, will bring me to my HT docs folder, it's a shortcut. Then we have my projects. Again, I have various projects that I work on. So I have some of these aliases here. They're like keyboard shortcuts and they're very helpful. Then if you want to edit the bash file in nano, you can do that with this command. If you want to apply all changes that you made to your bash file in the current terminal session, I have this command. And then if I want to edit the bash file in VS Code, I have this command. This is on Windows. And again, on Mac OS, this would be open. And this would be ZSHRC. My composer commands, my linting commands, my git commands, my npm commands, and my wpcli commands. Now you can add any aliases that you want, any commands that you see that you're going to be using often in terms of your development workflow. And if they're long commands, you're definitely going to want to, you know, create an alias for that and shorten it up a little bit. Make it something that's memorable for you. Try to organize your aliases in your actual bash RC or ZSH RC files. Try to keep it organized. Group them together. So you see I have CL here. So this is uh, composer linting and then my composer commands. And that way, when I open up the terminal and I type out, let's say alias, it keeps them all together because you see it's not in the same format as it is in your bash RC file. So what I do is I name them in a consistent manner. So that way they'll be grouped together if I want to quickly see them. Because again, it might take you time to remember all of these commands and you don't want to have to scroll up and down to find a specific command, especially if you have a lot of them. So you see, I have my navigation ones here, change directory, CD, and then the shortcuts for those. And then I have the CF WPCS for composer fix WPCS. Then I have my various composer ones there, then my CL for linting, my Git, NPM, and then WPCLI ones. Just remember that when you're on Mac OS, it's, it is going to be different. You're going to be most likely using your ZSHRC file, and you would be using, to edit that file, you can either use this command, nano, space, tilde, forward slash, period, ZSHRC, that's uh, to edit it in nano, or if you want to edit it in VS Code or your default editor, you would type out open space tilde sign forward slash period ZSHRC. That'll open it up in your editor and you can edit the file in that manner. And then once you're done editing it, make sure you type out source space tilde sign forward slash period ZSHRC if you're on Mac OS and period bash RC if you're on Windows using git bash. Aliases are very important. They're very good because they help you to navigate and type out commands that would typically take you, you know, probably a few seconds or a minute to type out in order to remember the exact full command. You know, these very long ones. You can shorten that up big time. So let's say, let me clear the screen. CDHT. It takes me directly to my HT docs folder. And then LA, it shows me all of my files that's in that folder. CDWPT takes me to my WP test folder. CDWPTP will take me to the plugins folder for that project. So it's all about being productive, efficient, and having a streamlined workflow. You're going to find there's going to be differences for you in terms of the types of aliases you decide to create based on your workflow. The commands I have here work for me. The naming conventions I have here work for me as well. But you can feel free to mix them up. 
Aliases are very powerful. I definitely recommend taking the time to learn them, implement them, and you'll see your productivity will skyrocket. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you want to support the channel, again, visit picksomeweb.com and make a purchase at DevWP. And once you do that, you'll get all the files, the folders, and the documentation, and it'll jumpstart your process of developing custom WordPress themes. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. And I will catch you in the next video. Happy coding.